Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys. We're back with another way to brew your coffee on the go. And this time we're taking a look at the new Wakako Pipa Mocha. Last year we checked out the Amazon bestseller Manual Espresso Maker, which was also from Wakako with their Nano Presso. But when we saw that they were coming out with an all-in-one vacuum brewer, we wanted to get our hands on it and see how it performs. So let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So like we mentioned, Wakako is pretty well known for their manual espresso maker, which is an Amazon bestseller, but uh, they realized that not everyone is into espresso, and so they wanted to come out with a different way of brewing coffee. So enter the Pipa Mocha, which is a vacuum brewer. And because it is an all-in-one system, you have everything needed within this container, besides the coffee and hot water, of course. And since this is primarily made to be on the go as a travel kind of utensil, it does come with a soft case, uh, much like the Nanopresso, but they do also offer a hard shell case you can pick up for another $20. And it matches the color scheme and you know looks really nice and is a good protective case. The Pipa Mocha itself comes in at $47, so not too bad for an all-in-one coffee brewer. And you won't need any additional filters or anything like that. Everything you need except for coffee and water is included in this. So opening it up here will show you all the contents. You uh, take off the lid, which you can use uh, with the mug after you already brew the coffee. You have a scoop, which you can use for getting the right amount of coffee. You have a brush, which is real useful for cleaning the filter basket. You have a funnel for helping you to load the filter basket with coffee without getting too much or being too messy and spilling over. And then you have the filter basket itself, uh, which obviously has a lid on it. And then this is what you will fill up with coffee and then drop into the water chamber in here. And the main process for extracting the coffee is to spin this um, orange dial here and the mug. And so it does take a little while to spin the entire thing out, um, but it, that's how the vacuum process works with the Pipa Mocha. And once you've unscrewed that all the way down to the bottom and finished the process, this comes off and then you have your mug of coffee, which would be full in here. And it's a 10 ounce mug. So with the water chamber in there, you can brew about eight ounces of coffee in here. All right, so let's take it down to my kitchen and show you how to use this thing to make a cup of coffee. So like the Nanopresso, there are quite a few parts, but once you run through it a time or two, it's easy enough to remember how everything works. So first off, we gotta heat up some water. Then, if possible, grind some fresh coffee. I have my grinder set a little more fine than where I would set it for a pour over. The Pipa Mocha comes with a scoop and a funnel to make loading the filter basket easier. Put two scoops of ground coffee in the basket and put the lid back on. I load it pretty full and pack it down with the lid when putting it back on to make the coffee a little bit stronger. Then with your water boiling, it's time to fill up the mug to the line that you want. We'll get a close up of it, but here within the water chamber, there are different numbers associated with different lines for how much water you actually fill up in the water chamber. If you go all the way at the bottom to the one quarter, it's gonna be more of an espresso style of coffee. But if you're going all the way up to the one, then it's gonna be more like a normal black cup of coffee. It's nice to have those different lines in here, which help you to choose what style of coffee you'd like to brew with the Pipa Mocha. In the manual, they have instructions for a normal cup, a latte, and espresso style. Fill the water chamber with water to the line that you want, and then place the filter basket into the water chamber and let it sink to the bottom. Give the mug a few taps on the table to try and get the air bubbles out, and then put the lid on. Next up is the extraction itself. Turn the orange ring clockwise and the mug counterclockwise, or just turn the only way that they'll turn. This takes a minute or two and requires a little bit of force, and the first few times I wasn't sure when the process was completely finished, so I kept periodically checking it, but once it is completely through the process, it's easy to remove the water chamber from the top of the mug. And then you have a cup of coffee. So with my very first cup, I followed the instructions in the manual. I filled it up to the one and you know just put two scoops of grounds in the filter basket and it felt like it came out a little bit weak. So for my next cup, I just filled it up to the three quarters and also made my grind a little bit more fine and packed the filter basket pretty much as full as I could. And that cup turned out a lot better for me. I like a strong cup of coffee and so I enjoyed that quite a bit more. In the manual for the Pipa Mocha, Wakako even says that it might take a little while to get your desired brew dialed in to experiment and try different things, which that's probably normal with most coffee makers. And then once you have your coffee, cleaning everything up is pretty easy. Uh, it's not dishwasher safe, so you do need to wash it by hand, but everything washes up fairly
fairly easily, and the included brush is pretty vital for getting all of the used rounds out of the filter basket. And then when everything's clean and dry, you can just pack it all back in. So it really is a nice portable package um, that makes a good cup of coffee on the go. And I just love that it's all included in here. You don't need any special extra filters or anything like that. And like we mentioned earlier, we also checked out the Nano Presso from Wakako as well. So give that a watch if you're more into espresso makers. But we also spoke with Nathaniel from the Bergamot and kind of got to know his coffee making process when he's on tour all over the country. So give that a watch as well if you're into more of a pour over style of coffee. But overall, the Wakako Pipa Mocha seems to be a really good way to make coffee on the go. Like I said, I love that it's an all-in-one package, and for $47, that's really not bad for an all-in-one solution. Uh, when you're done and you've made your coffee, you can take the lid off and you know put it on the mug, which just helps to keep it warm when you're on the go. And yeah, it's just a great all-in-one solution. So what do you think of the Wakako Pipa Mocha? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5Toys.